And as I start moving higher towards the ceiling, that's when I really just start like screaming my head off because <laughs> I'm absolutely terrified. I have no idea what's going on. What's up guys, it's Cavo Kez. Today we're gonna to be talking about angels and levitation. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. Go ahead, subscribe, hit that bell icon and select all so you never miss a video. And then if you're a dude and you like gaming, go ahead and subscribe to my Upheld Hero channel. That's my streaming channel. So if you guys wanna hang out, you can go there and I'll let you know when I'm streaming. All right, back to the video. When I was younger, I used to look up things about monks meditating and you know, they'd be so good at it that they would levitate. And I always thought, man, that'd be really cool to have that happen. And so I would always like meditate, hoping that I would levitate because that was like the epitome of Zen, like at peace, like I'm floating and stupid stuff like that. Don't get the wrong idea here. I wasn't just meditating and started floating. That's not how it happened. This experience followed my direct practice of opening my third eye and energy work directly. For at least a good several weeks before this experience actually happened, I was meditating on my third eye and I was doing an energy body meditation where I was just focusing on the energy rising and falling throughout my body. When I've done this, I've actually had wake induced lucid dreams or I've actually just been in different places. Like I would just teleport, just be somewhere else. But in this specific experience, it happened after a night of sleep. I had some crazy dreams about a friend that I knew and I woke up and I just sat there like the technique about astral projection. And I just kind of sat there and, you know, let the energy happen. And as I was just letting the energy rise and fall throughout my body, I looked across the room. I don't feel like I need to say how shocking this was, <laughs> but I looked over and there was someone actually walking through my living room. eating a big ass sandwich and shit. They were just rambling on and on and on about our bodies being temples and like energy and all this other stuff and just back and forth throughout my living room. As I'm looking at them, I'm just terrified. It's like, what's going on here? Why are you in my house? <laughs> now this thing pacing back and forth in my living room was sparkling. It was like shimmering and shining. It was like if you took the invisible man and put like glitter on him. Like I couldn't see it except for the parts of it that were shining. Like its features were like sparkling and it notices me as it's walking back and forth and it stops. It looks over across the room at me and it says, you are a sun. And as it says sun, it teleports across the room in the blink of an eye and it lays its hands down on me and this crazy energy goes through my body. It felt like I was in an electric chair being zapped with like 10,000 volts of electricity. That's how crazy this was. So as these vibrations are hitting me crazy and I'm, I'm literally like screaming because of how crazy it is, this thing says you will run to heaven and it lifts its hands off of me and I start levitating off of the couch. Now hear me out, I'm not crazy, but I was levitating. Him. <laughs> it wasn't something that I did myself. It just happened. If it wasn't for this angel alien thing, I don't know what it was. It probably wouldn't have happened. I start to raise up off the couch and I'm moving toward the ceiling. And as I start moving higher towards the ceiling, that's when I really just start like screaming my head off because <laughs> I'm absolutely terrified. I have no idea what's going on. I start to zip across the room and I'm like moving through the room in that same laying position. And then I start, I come right over the couch again and I come right back down onto the couch and the thing is gone. Like the, the, the entity, the angel, whatever, it's gone. I didn't know what to do. And I felt so weird with this energy moving through my body that I just laid there until the sun came up. So the very next day I contacted my mentor and I was like, man, this happened to me. What do you make of this? And he was like, ah, you got visited by an angel. Awesome. Like, oh, I was just nonchalant. That's just how it is. I was like, no, it was terrifying. Like, <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> Every experience I had in the astral after that, for at least several days, I would see this entity sitting near me or standing off in the distance or speaking to me about something. I still don't know its name. I still haven't had like a legit conversation with it, but at the end of the day, it was there and it made me levitate. It was really weird. So here's exactly what I did to have this entity show up. If I can really even say that I made it show up, I think it was just something that happened and I was kind of ready for it. Like prepared. So first things first, when it comes to entities, you don't control them and there's nothing you can really do to like pull them on a leash and make them show up. And you have to respect these entities. So if you're going to have something show up and 
encounter that thing that shows up, the first thing you wanna do is set a positive space. And I've talked about this before. You can set a circle. You can basically just say that the space that you're in is sacred and special for positive entities only. I cannot stress that enough. And then you wait. I don't mean you wait in one spot for hours. I mean, you wait days, weeks sometimes for these entities to show up when they feel like it. Say to your higher self, I want to encounter angels or I want to encounter this higher being or this ascended master. And you can do that. You don't have to be astral projecting for that to happen. You can experience that in real life. Like I always say, intention is the steering wheel to your car. Like you need it to get exactly where you're trying to go. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope that information was useful. If you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe so that you can help guide where the channel goes. And as always, guys, never stop adventuring.